RBG Real Estate Episode 1. We started this pilot with the um uh, one of the main protags and si Cotton eh. Obviously, uh she she's a wizard. Pero she went to the big city to obviously find work. So she eventually found um, her uh, her employers, uh, yung place of work niya, yung mga employers niya. And, well, it's quite a rowdy bunch. There's Fa, the uh, the non-human with a, with a huge tail. Si Rifura, the, uh, the warrior lady. And si Rakira, the priestess. Alright. Who was the um the designated field agent? Ang pinasukan niya kasi yung company. It's known as uh, its name is RPG Real Estate. Okay, hence the title of the anime. Akala siguro ng tatlo customer siya. So sinampol lang siya as to how they do business. E ang budget lang yung sinabi is 300 G, so equal to 120 yen yun. Yun ang kaya niya per month. Ang pinakita sa kanya lahat mga yung mga whew, shady places right shady locations except for one yung actual na inoffer ni Fa yung pala ito yung bakanting apartment do sa tabi niya so well pinunta niya what well, nagustuhan ni ni Cotton eh. so she decided to uh, to to take that and of course eh pinakinusap niya si Fa na magkikaibigan niya. Eh, pumayin naman si Fa. Eventually, they found out na bago pa lang nilang impiyado si Cotton eh. Uh, the next morning, nagkaroon sila ng high profile na kliyente. Si, um, a great sage who actually fought in the war to, um, to defeat the Dark Lord. Pasok yung kliyente ng ang great sage. Ngayon, Ang mga pinakitang listings ni ni Rakira eh talaga pang mayaman yung uh, only only af, only for affluent clients only. So yun ang pinakita niya. Medyo na disma. Yeah. Unti unti yan nadidismaya ang Great Sage. So balik sila sa office kasi wala siyang nagustuhan. And uh, the Great Sage just said, "Can we call it a day?" Until uh, sumingit na si Kotone with another listing na well, hindi naman kasing kasing gara na mga in-offer ni Rakira pero nabigla silang lahat nung well, kinuha agad ng Great Sage the moment na nakita niya sa nung tinriping nila eh, well, nagulat na si Rakira so Eh, tinanong na niya kay Cotton eh. Cotton eh. How did you know that um, that, uh, that the client prefers uh, locations like this? Well, simple lang ang sinabi ni Cotton ni dito. Napansin niya kasi na mahilig sa, mahilig sa flowers ang Great Sage na to. Kasi parang yung tingin sa, bulak, sa mga bulaklak nila sa opisina. Lalong nara na yung gusta flower na nandun sa, sa front desk. It's, it's all in one scene na talagang naghanap siya ng naghanap siya ng, uh, ng property na merong ganong na merong ganong flower field. Eh yun nga meron. Yun ang pinakita niya. Ayun. Kinuha tuloy ng kliyente. So, wow. Not bad on her first day of work. Final scene. Well, they both, uh, well, Fa and Cotton and retired to their apartments and well, sinabi lang ni Cotton eh, day one of work is done. I'm gonna work even harder tomorrow. Let's break that down now. Critic sub style. Pace. Yung pacing niya, yeah, pang... pang daily lives. Well, y- yun nga talaga eh. Kasi yun, yung, yun ang napansin ko rito sa pilot na to. Mukhang, mukhang pinapalo niya ang daily lives format. As we've seen in, uh, of course, sales at work. And more recently, police in a pod. So, hmm. And the pacing also, 
is instantly told me na this is this is a daily lives of real estate brokers anime pero with a fantasy twist I'm sorry guys it's not an isekai it's a straight up fantasy series okay I have no complaints about the pacing of this of this uh, of this pilot mga ka lifestyle patreon talagang totally relate ako dahil sa pacing because well I tried selling real estate myself, okay? I used to be a, I also used to be a door-to-door -door salesman. So I totally get what uh, what the main what the main pro tags are going through just to get a client. Flow naman. Um pagisayin na natin as one as one story ito. First gear shift was when Kotone step through that door for the first time. Yung yung main door ng entrance ng opisina nila. Well, as simple as it may seem, mga ka-lifestyle, that, tri that, that triggered the entire anime. Further sequences down the line will justify my claim that this is a gear shift. Lalo na na yung uh, second gear shift. Yeah, we now proceed to the second gear shift. We're in. Na-realize ni Rufira and ni Rifura that empleyado pa nila si ano empleyado pala nila si Cotton eh this gear shift uh, confirmed confirmed my uh, confirmed my claim of the first gear shift that yun ang nag-trigger sa buong anime na to kasi um, kumbaga let's call this ito ang lalong nagpatibay sa samahan nila Kasi, well, they're gonna... Kotone isn't just a customer. Magiging co-worker nila ito. Kasi, there's proof eh. Nandun yung... Naiwan niya kasi yung employment contract na to sa... sa... office nila. Final gear shift was... Um, Kotone was able to help uh, Rakira close this... Uh, Close this uh this great siege. Oh, why did I call this a gear shift? Kasi dito na pinakita ni Kotone on how hardworking she can be. Although medyo nagpakita na professional jealousy dito si Rakira. Yeah, obvious. This gear shift has educational value. Bakit? You don't well, in real life, you don't just uh, you don't just sell anything to anybody. It's a mix and match kind of thing, mga ka lifestyle Patreon. All right, I'm telling you this through experience. Okay, I've been I've been into sales for nearly yeah for for more than half my life. So, kung ano yung kung ano needs talaga ng kliente, dun yung itatapat yung offer nyo, dun yung ibibase yung offer nyo. Now, uh, Rakira's mistake was she only saw she only saw the money in this uh, in this transaction. Pero kay Cotton eh, siguro uh, out of um, out of the desire to um, to to help to help Rakira get this as as a, as their client. So tinigdan niya. Hmm. May li pala sa bulaklak to. Okay. So, yun. Nagkano siya ng property na na siguro nasa gitna ng flower field. And, yun nga. So, she actually mixed and matched the uh, the property to the prospect. That's a basic lesson in sales, guys. And, this gear shift will show, will actually show you how to sell. So, these three gear shifts that I saw, all of them will play a role down the line in this anime. Plot <laughs> wise. Wala eh. Talagang there were no uh, there were no certified side or back stories here. Kasi um, kapag naglagay ka siguro ng side or back story dito in the pilot you're taking a huge risk here. You know you're now running the risk of 
of ruining uh, the pilot's storyline or even the, the entire anime storyline. Baka hindi maintindihan ng, ng mga viewers. Now, uh, the best example I can give you is one that we previous that we just previously reviewed, Love of Kill. All right? Platinum Vision took a huge gamble there nung nung nagpakita sila ng pa, parang backstory sa mismong pilot. So they had to uh, they had to justify that for 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 11 straight episodes kung bakit ganun. Ayun nga. So uh, you you really That, that's the gamble there. Pero dito, looks like uh, the animation studio didn't take a chance. Talagang, for me, talagang na-focus talagang na ako sa, sa main continuity ng episode. What's a clean plot? Yeah. Uh, for a pilot, it has a clean plot. So, pace, flow, and plot, they all came together for this pilot, folks. So, RPG Real Estate Episode 1 Educational Value Two thumbs up! Okay, what are the prospects of this anime um, not disappointing us? The chances are if the um, if the sales lessons continue I'd say it would be 70-30 pero, may, may mga comic elements din siya. And, yeah, bottom line. I think I'm gonna have fun reviewing this anime. And, of course, uh, I get to, uh, I get to uh, re-educate myself when it comes to selling. So, if you can't afford uh, gurus like Brian Tracy, Tom Hopkins, uh, Jordan Belfort, You might as well settle for this anime first. <laughs> It's giving you free sales lessons. So again, RPG Real Estate, Episode 1, two thumbs up. First two thumbs up for this anime, Mahaka Lifestyle. I think I can expect great things from this one. All right. Just uh, don't mind the cuteness. So Patreon, wait for my next upload. And for those of you who are still stuck with the CHD, kahit volume 8 na, well, ay, there's nothing I can do than just watch you chill over there. Enjoy this review, and I'll see you in the next one.